Hello, my beautiful Aries friends. Happy birthday. Welcome to the Astrological New Year. This is your general forecast. It's a new forecast that I'm doing every month for every sign. So let's get started. The first thing we're going to look at is your current energy, which is release. That is what you're supposed to do at the current time, and that will be releasing ideas, thoughts, people, circumstances, or a way of doing things. We'll find that out as we put the cards out. Your blessing or your challenge is the Lady of Leprechauns. So we'll see what that means. The Lady of Leprechauns is a card that indicates she's very alluring. And right now you have Venus coming into Aries. So you are extra alluring right now, but you are mischievous. The Leprechauns are mischievous. So it looks like you're going to have a fun month in love because you have the Lady of Leprechauns. Your outcome card, the, the uh, oracle card, is enlightenment, so that's good. So you're going to know a lot more at the end of the month, the astrological month, than you do now. And the advice is horse spirit freedom. Stay free. Steer your own boat, so to speak. So let's look and see what the tarot reading is. And I'm going to clarify everything, of course. Also, too, I will be putting monthlies up, and I am going to go back to the old format of doing a Will My Ex Return, which is going to turn into It's Complicated. And then, whoops, there we go. Rosie's with me, by the way. <laughs> so we're picking up the card with Rosie. So I'm going to put all the cards out, and then we'll go over your reading. So we have It's Complicated, regular traditional relationships in which you're together. And it, you know, living together, married, whatever, seeing each other. And then we're going to look at new love also this month. So, oh, nice. So you have the Queen of Cups, you have the Sun card in the current situation, as well as the Three of Swords. Interesting. Okay. Let's look at your magic or your mayhem with the Lady of Love. Oh, nice. You have the Empress card. Lovely. Manifesting. Taurus energy. You're going to have an expansion this month in your second house of money and everything that you value. Family, whatever it is that you value. Chariot card coming in very quickly. So it looks like somebody's coming in with a proposition, an offer. Honey, I'm home. <laughs> what could we do when I get home? But it's a beautiful card. It's also you energetically moving forward. Here you are in your own reading. You are the Aries Queen. That is the Queen of Wands. So let's look and see what your outcome for this month is. This is a beautiful reading. Oh, cowabunga. It's a great reading. What a great month for you. Happiest card in the deck is here. The Nine of Swords. So your outcome is that you're going to have some sort of regrets over something. But again, I well, let's get all the cards out because you're doing a lot of releasing and letting go also. The Two of Cups, nice outcome card, beautiful energy. I'm going to clarify everything, of course. And we have the Eight of Coins, Mastery. Mastery could be in regard to work, could be in regard to money or anything, but we'll get the clarifiers. Okay, and the advice from Spirit, from the Tarot deck, the advice from Spirit is going to be stay balanced with Libra energy. Focus on equal give and take. Be generous. It also is a date card. Somebody offering you. I think that you're going to receive some really nice birthday gifts. And there go the cards. Okay, so let's see what we have here. We also have the advice from Spirit. Is keep your freedom. Remember, this is a keep your freedom card along with uh, remembering and honoring those from your past. So let's take an overall look. I am going to leave those down there <laughs> until we finish. Okay. So in your, it, the way things are going right now, you are keeping secrets. In fact, I'm going to switch over to the table view now. Okay. So you're keeping secrets, Aries. That's what I'm seeing. You have some sort of, you have a secret about someone that you love, someone that you care about. The King of Cups is very stable energy. You've loved this person for a very long time. 
And when we look at the card of release, you are releasing your expectations. It looks as though this person probably was involved in heartbreak, but I also get with this energy of the sun. Oh, I didn't do that very well, right? Okay, so let's put these cards down where you can see them right on the table. Okay, so when we look at the energy of the King of Cups, we are definitely looking at energy of unconditional, unrequited love or loving someone forever. With the Three of Swords, I do think this person is unrequited. I think that you have released them or you've released the idea that they're the only person that you can be happy with. You now know this was probably about three years ago, possibly, or longer. Could have been three months, could have been three days, could have been three minutes. But when I look at this, I see you finding your happiness. You're in a place of happiness that you've not really had in the past. And it's really based on your ability and the, the outcome that you've chosen for yourself, which is enlightenment. So I feel as though you've gone through a tremendous amount of growth. Aries, you've had Pluto that challenged your sun terribly in Capricorn. So everything in the last probably 15 years that you've ever thought about relationships has transformed. You no longer hold on to what should be. You're very much in this mode of releasing heartbreak, accepting that which is good, and moving forward in love with your life. The Lady of Cap of Leprechaun, I want to say Capricorns, the Lady of Leprechauns is a very titillating person. She's sort of the, the woman of mystique when we look at the fairy deck. She's mischievous. She's um, very lusty. She's playful. She's, she doesn't really care about the truth. It's all much more about having fun, enjoying life. It's almost as though she is the empress of the, uh, of the tarot deck. The difference is, is that she can be very whimsical. She can be very sort of here today, gone tomorrow. It's very freedom loving energy and she likes a good laugh and she likes a good tumble in the hay. And anyone who is related to her or has a relationship with her needs to understand that this she's the ultimate queen of wands, that's you in charge, the sharp end of the spear. You go after what you want, the chariot card. You are going after this month and you're gonna be very powerful, all positive energy. You're going to be very powerful in being the true you. You know, you are mystical, you are magical, you are beautiful, you are lusty, you like to be in charge also, you like to know what's going on. So this month, it looks as though you feel for the first time in your life that you have great clarity, maybe not for the first time, but certainly in recent years after this heartbreak. We really see you bouncing back. You're, you're very much happy in charge. Major arcana, major arcana, major arcana. Really tremendous, really important reading for you for this month. Let's see what we have for, when we look at what you, um, the outcome card is this enlightenment card, okay? So outcome is that with your enlightenment, you're learning, remember we saw release, you're releasing this sort of constant agony. You're not there yet, but you're getting there. You're learning that, you know, whatever it is that happened here with this Three of Swords card, that you're learning to release it. You're learning actually that you might be crying over spilt milk. That, you know, at the end of the day, you have a very beautiful relationship now that you probably value more than what this relationship gave you. So while you may have a feeling of love lost, of a time in your life that was a lot of fun. It was also a time that brought you heartbreak. So you are releasing that with this Oracle energy presently. You're not quite there yet. You're still in the process. But the Two of Cups, my gosh, I mean, that is a bride and groom card that is best friends. It's like marrying your best friend. You are learning how to balance yourself in love because we have the Libra Queen. And that is actually the advice of the Tarot. You know, 
be more concerned about balancing yourself. This is your seventh house, Libra. This is your house of marriage. And it does look like somebody wants to propose. They want to spend their life with you. This has turned into a love reading somehow. But, but it happens that way, right? Your seventh house is activated this month uh, because it is your birthday. We see that you want to grow old with somebody, but you also want to be with someone with whom you have a lot of freedom, somebody with whom you have a lot of uh, sexuality, a lot of fun, you make love, you make love often, you make love in a way that seems new all the time. And equal give and take, it's just gorgeous energy. It's I, This is a beautiful reading for you. A happy birthday to you for sure. So let's look and see what the Scorpio King is doing here the hermit card so this person is a person that you haven't talked to in a long time or they stayed quiet for a very long time we get that what has made you happy is it looks like there's been contact um, with the sun card that's action right the sun it's all about romance and sex and fun and having a, a good time together you know drinking gambling going on picnics riding horses being at the beach you know it's all of those really fun things that I feel that you did with this person and they still see you as the best match for them the three of swords why is it here the queen of cups so it looks as though your person went off you know put you in a third party situation with someone who had children um, that sort of an aside because here's the catch this person never stopped loving you so why did they put you in a third party situation why did this person put you in a third party situation why did this person put you in a third party situation okay uh, seven of swords five of swords winning at all costs they wanted to win somebody oh goodness okay so what I'm seeing here is that though you were loving though they were in love with you they used their chariot their chariot and they unbeknownst to you started a relationship with somebody who had some coin so unfortunately this person is also not a person who, ha who holds love in the highest value. They do not share your values. This is a person who did love you unconditionally. It is a person who still loves you, but they will make a head over heart decision. Very, uh, it's a cold energy. And what they wanted was not so much love, but they wanted a nice car. You know, when we look at the Queen of Pentacles, that is um, Capricorn energy. And it's somebody who probably has a big career. So though you are talented, though you are gifted, you know, it doesn't mean you have to have a big career. You may, you know, many of you express that in different areas of your life. So when we look at the Lady of Leprechauns for, for what is, you know, going on in your present energy, we have this beautiful Empress card. So you are manifesting new love, okay? So it is a real a reawakening in a current love. It can be an old lover returning, including this one, because I'm getting the sun card. So this person may be coming back to offer you a cup of love. You feel very delighted with it. It looks like any contact from this person because they took off in their chariot this way. Now they're coming towards you. Uh, it shows that it made you very happy for those of you with whom it resonates. If it doesn't resonate, ignore that card it means new love coming in when we look at the the chariot card oh see this okay so what i'm remember i said a head over heart decision this person made a head over heart decision i'm pointing over here uh, this person made a head over heart decision when they left you behind with this chariot card now they're heading to you so they're still they want new love but the mayhem here is that they're still able to make a head over heart decision. So this person, even though they love you very deeply, this is love is not their motivator. So let's see what else we have. Yep, here we go. Where you're the queen, you are the queen, you are the queen of wands, we have that your person is very immature. We get that your person may have a child if they're divorced. We also have that your person is immature you know you're coming up as a queen and they're coming in with a little page with little fishies in the cup the offer isn't big enough is what I'm seeing 
So now when we look at your outcome row, the outcome from this month, you have remorse and regret. So let's see what remorse and regret is about. That's nine of swords. It's some sleepless nights. What is this remorse and regret about? The king of wands. So there is somebody who may be a fire sign or not, but somebody who is very lusty, very potent. We have the sun card. I definitely feel it's related to um, this king of cups. Uh, may have had some fire in their chart, but it looks as though you miss the fiery part of the relationship. It looks as though you miss the fun, but you certainly do not miss. Yeah, we have the page of swords. You, you do not miss watching this person boldly sort of talk to other people and invest in somebody else. So it looks like they really did break your heart. It looks as though there wasn't a good reason because they loved you. It looks as though they had other motives that, you know, money and um, status, prestige look like they were. Yep, and we have devil energy. So it does look like this person had toxic energy and the beauty of this is that you are becoming enlightened over this, you understand it, you have a good grasp on it. It doesn't really take the sting away, it still feels very personal, but you can really see how manipulative this person was and you can really see that, you know, I don't think that this person would typically be uh, good with anybody long term. I feel as though this person that you were dealing with is not per a person who really keeps relationships. I think they do for a while, as long as the physical side of the relationship is what's commanding the feminine energy. And here, But now we have you, you are in a different relationship because this Two of Cups is your outcome card and this was a breakup from the past but i do think that this whole sort of behind the scenes and you just had venus in your 12th house of secret affairs so i do feel as though you are in a relationship now and that somebody contacted you from the past and wanted to return uh, here we have a slow return so you were probably away from this person for some time the sun card they're bringing the sun back in they want this relationship I feel as though you might go for the passion of this relationship that was the part of the relationship that was so interesting to you, was a passionate nature. Let's see, the Eight of Coins. What you want to really know is if they can really pull through. So let's look at that. Is this a person who's learned anything? Queen, okay, so we have the Empress card. So there is some understanding. There is some learning that has been achieved here with this person. We get that this person is, but well, we have coins here. So and we have coins here also. So spirit is telling you to be balanced, that if this person doesn't participate in equal give and take, that they're still after coins, nine of swords, nine of swords. That's what it is. Here it comes up again, the devil card and the nine of swords twice. So, and it's about coin, and that's what we saw over here. So, somebody left the Queen of Cups, which is you, emotional, deeply loving, uh, and they wanted to win, you know, something else. They felt as though somebody would give them very generous gifts, or, you know, somebody had some money, they'd have a beautiful home. Interesting energy, though. Okay, so let's see what we have here. Now, we have... The advice from spirit is freedom is yours. Keep your freedom, stay balanced, make sure you have equal give and take. Make sure this is the in and out card. Don't marry at this time. What we're seeing is you could grow old with somebody without marrying them and that's where you're coming. That's what I see that you're following spirit's advice because this very much really relates to the rest of the reading. Very powerful energy very powerful and with Venus in your 12th house you've been really thinking about love what you want from love what you expect from love and we have the two of wands yep you still haven't made a full decision what we see here is spirit saying hold your decision it's not time to make a decision about either or of these kings okay whatever relationship you're in it's you really should just hold the status quo for now Five of Cups. I think that what this is saying here is that 
keep your freedom until somebody really has equal give and take because you give so much and you become so disappointed Aries you know that you're always the one who's holding on to love you're protecting the love and the people that you've been with in your life just like almost throw it away they're oblivious this person's oblivious to how much you're creating the stability in this relationship so why do we have the six of cups here for you okay six of cups is that you would like to have a relationship with somebody that um, is not you don't want to be in a third party and you don't like anybody sneaky so i really feel that spirit is advising you at this time to stay single because right now spirit does not think that you yet can make a wise choice spirit says look at this person over here broke your heart and now you're healing your heart you're over that the worst of it you still have a hurt heart though or else this wouldn't show up in the reverse but you are healing and the seven of swords says that the current love that you have you know there's energy between two different lovers you have the king of wands here and here's some yeah king of wands with devil energy so you're still in a relationship in which you love so deeply and so spirit is just saying the advice is don't make any decisions it's not time hold off you're you'll be at the fork in the road for a while so you're still at the fork in the road stay balanced and and you know look out for yourself you know everybody else is out looking out for them but also watch for sneakiness this three of swords and the seven of swords have been somewhat themes that you feel that you've known in your history a great deal it might even be a family legacy that there could be you know that haunts you a little bit what i see is a total release of this energy it's just gorgeous you are coming into the most powerful time of your life this is the most powerful season of your life aries you have never been more empowered you've never been at this level of equilibrium of happiness of really being able to know what's you what's them what do you want what are you going to insist on having so it's a powerful time Time for you and I just want to say thank you for joining me take care sending you from Chicago if you would like please subscribe like and comment because that's how YouTube knows that you value the content thank you bye bye